Hello, I'm Russell Boudry, Router Product Manager here at Multicam, and this is Colin Schecker, our Field Support Manager. Colin, what are we going to go over in this multiple series video? Today we're going to be covering the most commonly asked questions of pre-installation of your multi-cam machine. This is going to include electrical, air quality, machine offload, and placement. And maybe a few other miscellaneous topics as well. So if you have any further questions or anything specific, make sure you contact your technical training support center. One of the most common delays we run into during a machine install usually has something to do with machine electrical. One of the things that you can do to make sure that you don't have these delays or any extra costs is to know exactly what type of voltage you have. If you open your main panel, inside of the main panel, you will have a label that tells you what voltage three phase you have and also what voltage single phase you have. So here, this is a 208 three phase, 120 single phase panel. Please get with your licensed electrician and make sure you have enough available slots for your piece of equipment and find out if you have enough amperages in that panel to supply your equipment. Now, if you continue to have doubts about the voltage inside your electrical panel, maybe because your facility is very old or the markings on your panel are not done very well, then please contact a licensed electrician for them to come out and actually measure what voltage you have before you get too far down the ordering path. During your sales and ordering process, the information for your voltage and amperage usage for the equipment that you're gonna be using will be provided to you. Now, you need to have your licensed electrician have those disconnects installed before the equipment arrives. The two most common disconnects are for your multi-cam CNC router and vacuum system. Please let your licensed electrician know that the disconnect for your multi-cam CNC router does not require an ambush rating. Once your equipment arrives at location, you will want to have your licensed electrician back out to install power cable from the electrical disconnect into the multicam controller cabinet. Your electrical cabinet may be independent like this one, or it may be actually attached to your machine, but what's important for your electrician is to actually bring this installing cable into the cabinet and install it into the on and off switch of the electrical cabinet. During your ordering process, you may see a voltage requirement for 380 volts three phase, even though you're in the North America domestic voltage electrical grid. In this case, you're going to have a transformer on your quote. What this transformer does is it takes domestic four conductor electricity, which is three hots and a ground, transforms it into international voltage five conductor, three hots, a ground, and a neutral. What you wanna make sure you let your electrician know is to hook up all five of these conductors inside of the electrical cabinet because Multicam does use this neutral for its required power.